logarithms. In this video, we are going to focus on the introduction. You will find this on page 192 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals mx plus c to success. The connection between logarithm and indices. Logarithms or log or LG are the reverse operation of indices, exponents. Just as subtraction is the reverse operation of addition and taking the square root is the reverse operation of square. Therefore, indices and logarithms are related. The index show how many times to use the number in multiplication. In this example, 10 to the power of 3, it's 3 times that I use 10. 10 times 10 times 10, which is a thousand. 10 is used 3 times in multiplication to get a thousand. So logarithm answers a question like this. 10 to the power what is a thousand? The logarithm tells us what the index is. It helps us to find that 3. How do we write it? In logarithm notation, we write log. We move that base down. Now, if it's a 10, you don't have to write it, but we will come to that. Then a 1,000 is equal to 3. If you take your calculators, your school calculators, it's programmed with a base of 10, and you just press log 1,000, what will you get? You will get 3. So we say the logarithm of 1,000 with the base of 10 is 3. Now, it's very important that you can write from index notation to logarithm notation. Now it just works like this. The base just move down. You keep the base. And then you just basically swap this two. You just swap this two. So there and there. So the log form and index form are interchangeable. Okay, let's look at an example. Write the following in logarithmic form. So 3 to the power of 3 is 27. So keep the base and swap that two. Okay. So keep the base and swap that two. Keep the base and swap that two. Keep the base and swap that two. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 16, number A, um, number B, um, number C, and number H. No, D and H. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Let's just move that up. Let's start. I'm first going to write it as it stands there. 2 to the power 6 equals 64. So that will become, okay, now no, I think I rather want to write it here. That will become log Keep the base, keep the base, just move it down and swap. 64 is equal to 6. The number B. 5 to the power 1 is equal to 5. So therefore, log, keep the base, swap is equal to 1. Always if that 2 is the same, it will end in a result of 1. Then number C, 3 to the power negative 2 is equal to 1 over 9. So therefore, log 3, 1 over 9 is equal to negative 2. And then number D, P to the power Q is equal to R. So therefore, log P swap R is equal to Q. And then the final one will be number H. So 10 to the power negative 3 is equal to 0 0.001. So therefore log 10, 0 0.001 is equal to negative 3. Okay, and that's how. So you keep the base and you just swap that too. Let's look at the next one. Now, in this example, we are going to do the reverse. I give you log and you go to index. This is very important. Okay. So, again, what you do is you keep the base and you just swap. Keep the base, swap. Keep the base, swap. 
I want you to stop the video and I want you to do A, B and C. Okay, let's start with number A. Log 2, 16 is equal to 4. So therefore, keep the base and just swap this two. Okay, B, log, K, C is equal to A. Therefore, K to the power of A is equal to C. And then number C, log 10, 0 0.01 equals negative 2. So therefore, 10 to the power swap, negative 2 equals 0 0.01. Okay. Um, I can just want to show you finally this, the condition for a log to be defined. Okay, so very important, if the, when the base is 1, okay, now when the base is 1 and you swap, you get this answer, which is not correct, because 1 to the power any number must be 1. So the base cannot, that cannot be a 1. Okay, because 1 to the power any number must be 1, and it's not giving you 1. So not 1. So when the base is 0, you, 0 to the power 0 is also not defined. Okay, so it, it can also not be 0. Cannot be 1, cannot be 0. Okay, if the base is negative 2, okay, then you, if you go to index, you get this. But this half means a root, and you cannot get a negative root. So let's just go, go to the conclusion here. Okay. So the base of a logarithm must be a positive real number and not be 1. So it cannot be negative, it cannot be 1. So it must be bigger than 0, but it cannot be 1. So logarithms are not defined for 0 and negative numbers. Okay, that is very important.